First Peter 4, verse 1, says this, Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves with the same way of thinking. For whoever has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. When we arm ourselves with the thought that Christ suffered for us, we realize that we died with him. We died with him. So when we die with him, we turn from our sin, right? It says, arm yourselves with that thought. That's what Peter's explaining. We got to arm ourselves. And our weapon against sin is this kind of thought, this consideration. When the temptations come, temptations to lust, to steal, to lie, to put others down, to be fearful, we arm ourselves with this thought, this treasured thought. The thought that when my Lord suffered and died to free me from sin, I died to sin. So when Satan says to you, why deny yourself certain pleasures? Why deal with this mess over here that you could avoid by lying or by stealing or by hurting somebody else? Why not? It's harmless. Why not get what you're owed, you know? Why not just kind of take what's yours? You got to answer him. You got to answer him back. You got to say, the Son of God suffered really, really suffered to deliver me from sinning, to deliver me from sinning. So I'm not going to believe he suffered to make me miserable. So what he died to, to buy, to purchase, must be so much more wonderful than what you're offering me. When we arm ourselves with that kind of thought, that kind of thought that Christ suffered for us, we realize that we died with him.